हाय फ्रेंड हाउ आर यू प्लीज इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फॉर मोर अपडेटेड टेक्निकल एंड रियल लाइफ वीडियो माय चैनल नेम इज रियल लाइफ इन रुजित पाल टुडे द डिस्कसिंग टॉपिक इज प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ लाइन वॉट इज लाइन The line is nothing, but the line is just incoming line or outgoing line from a generating station or from a substations. In our pictures, we consider it is a two twenty kb switchers of a generating stations, and it is the one thirty two kb substations bus bars, and it is the two twenty kb switchyard bus bars. Here forms we are giving the power to a one thirty two kb substations by help of a double circuit line. So this is the line one, incoming line one, and this is the incoming line two. And how we are connecting, or how we are just uh, applying the directional and non-directional relay here today? Our discussing topic is that. in a generating stations or a 220 kb substations we are using a non directional relay and in a 132 kb substations or the ending substations we are uh, using the directional element or reverse power flow element relay as per this diagram is concerned we are just considering the generating stations and one substations also but this case is not as like as this because the grid systems is as like as this picture is concerned this is a power grid substation 400 kb and this is also a 400 kb substations that may be the tcl substations or maybe the power grid substations and also uh, yeah, also the Uh, electricity board substations of the any states of india so first of all this is a ring main systems this is a ring main systems the interconnectivity of 220 kb substations 1 220 kb substation 2 132 kb substations 2 to 132 kb substation 2 400 kb substation 1 and 400 kb substation 2 let us start about a single to understand better suppose <clears throat> this is a generating station and this is one substations and this is the end end substations and this generating station is just feeding this power and this substation is not connected to any grid or any substations and this substation is just a uh, step down substations and it is providing the power to the 3311 or the distribution system 3311 and then the many uh, 11 kb systems will go through the uh, load centers so la let's start about that if if this uh, line has a fault suppose the snapping of this line snapping of this line this is a, a 132 kb line from a 220 kb switcher to 220 by 132 kb transformers after that this uh, feeding to the 132 kb substations suppose this is the incoming one feeder this is the incoming two feeder the incoming one feeder has a fault or snapping of the conductor of any phase that may be the r phase y phase or three phase short circuit single phase to r three phase short circuit double phase to r whatever may be but if the fault is occurred here if the fault is occurred here the two path of the fault current will flow through these systems what is what will be the path the first path will be the first path will be a the first path will be d to generating station d to generating stations and the second path will be a b c d suppose the fault is occurred here so the current will flow current will flow that directions the current will flow uh, from this direction to this direction to the earth point 
to the earth point suppose it is the earth fault so the current is flowing in, uh, in the normal condition the current is flowing as per the diagram is concerned the current flowing from this substation a uh, this uh, generating station to the substations in that directions in the normal case the current is flowing in that directions suppose the fault is happened here the current will flow to generating station to the fault locations and these substation to the fault locations suppose the path will be there path will be there the first path is uh, generating station generator generator to b to earth point e and the other path will be d generating station other path will be d generating station a b c to earth point to earth point so the two uh, two path will be there the first path and this is the second path the first path the current is flowing from this direction to this direction we are using here a non directional relay non directional relay so this uh, this breaker will be uh, tripped accordingly in the both directions if the uh, if the fault is uh, here if the fault is here the uh, this uh, circuit breaker will trip instantly and then if uh, the fault current the fault current is flowing from uh, these directions these directions to a point a point to no so this is not the d the g point g point to a point a point to b point mm, b point to c point this is the non directional symbols and this is the directional symbols you should have to remember that this symbol is just providing the reverse power if the power flow in that direction as per the symbol is here the relay will be tripped if the power will not flow as per the symbol is uh, here the power will, the breaker will not be tripped so uh, in the second case in the second case the power is flowing from these directions to this direction so in that case the b uh, b breaker will not be tripped but the c breaker will be tripped c breaker will be tripped because the power and the sim power flow direction and the symbol direction is same so this um, uh, breaker will uh, trip instantly so uh, in the case of the fault so d and c the both uh, breaker will be tripped the d breaker uh, will be tripped at uh, 220 kb substations uh, generating switch yard and the c breaker will be tripped at a 132 kb switch yard so the both uh, breaker will be tripped so this faulty section will be isolated from the healthy section so uninterrupted power supply through um, the a and b breaker will be maintained so in case of the so we are, we are using here the non directional symbol this is the directional symbol you should have to remember friends in case of uh, the interconnected substations interconnected substations here we are using the non directional element this is the directional element the power is flowing suppose the power is flowing in that direction uh, in that directions and the uh, power is uh, flowing the power is flowing in that directions the power um, is uh, flowing in that direction power is flowing in that direction so this relay will not be tripped if the relay will be tripped so the directions and the uh, same will be same direction symbols and the power flow symbols will be same then the relay will be tripped and the uh, uh, isolate the systems so uh, friend uh, if you are interested to show my video please subscribe my channels and press the bell icon for more updated technical video and obviously share my video with your friends colleagues and recommended my video for enhancing the uh, enhancing um, uh, the subscriptions and obviously friends thank you thank you very much